What is up, guys? Welcome to the show. I'm Michael. This is the Crypto Lounge. We're going to be talking about Bitcoin in particular. There was a report, guys. Let's go ahead and talk about this. Now, we're talking about scarcity. We're talking about what's going on, what's going to happen post happening. All right. You got to buy a report. And I'm looking at some pretty, pretty crazy uh, numbers when it comes to the outflow and the scarcity cut, how that's going to affect outflow supply shock this is what we're talking about right i want to talk about the exchanges uh that essentially in this report are slated to run out of bitcoin post having and we're talking about nine months after uh the particular having now this may be uh something that a lot of you aren't thinking about uh if you have been paying attention to uh coinbase essentially uh, their outflow uh, when it comes to the uh, BTC. It's been pretty phenomenal, okay? Uh, you have a lot of uh, outflow that is being registered through Coinbase. Now, there's a lot of other exchanges. You have Binance. You have a, a lot of Prethra that are actually in the mix when it comes to selling Bitcoin and uh, trading Bitcoin. You already know, if you're an avid trader, you already know where you can get your Bitcoin. Now, after the having, when it comes to this unprecedented uh, actual block cut of rewards, guys, uh, there's going to be some enormous amounts of buy pressure all right that's going to hit the scarcity event that's going to attack this supply like it has never been attacked before now we're talking about to the tune of uh, and i'm talking withdrawals these are the predictions uh, versus what is actually in the coffers and i'm talking about around two million dollars worth of btc at this point in time all right now i'm looking at some numbers here daily inflow around 500 million dollars okay now a daily outflow, and I'm talking about withdrawals, is going to be around 7.1 BTC. I'm talking 7,000, okay, $7,100, just a little bit, uh, you know, above that. Uh, when it comes to the outflow, post having, this is what's going to be registered. Now, when you factor in that supply shock, when you factor in those effects, that scarcity cut in Bitcoin, which is what happens every time we get a having, you know what I'm saying? The supply gets cut. Now, this is a lot of uh, players are saying this is kind of like a minute cut. I get what they're saying, but this inflow of uh, activity when it comes to the buying of Bitcoin, that is going to be expedited. And we have to add in the Hong Kong effect too. That was unforeseen. So let's factor in all of that inflow when it comes to buying Bitcoin post half after the scarcity cut, all right? Let's factor in the FOMO. Let's also factor in the fact there's going to be institutional buying on a level we've never seen before. This is unprecedented, all right? and. I kind of believe these reports uh, and, and, and just putting it in the same conversation uh, when it comes to rarity as gold. And, and honestly, guys, I never thought I would see Bitcoin uh, in the midst of these conversations uh, when it comes to uh, being compared to gold and the rarity aspect of Bitcoin when it's compared to gold. It's, it's pretty interesting, right? So uh, you've seen these conversations, you're seeing a lot of these charts that are coming up uh, with Bitcoin and gold kind of like running a parallel to each other. Bitcoin is kind of uh, separating itself when it comes to rarity, uh, when it comes to gold, precious metals. So this is very interesting, right? Very interesting. Now let's get to the miners uh, aspect of it because the miners, now you're gonna get a block cut, all right? So this is gonna affect the large scale miners. If you got one or two S9s, uh, S10s, whatever they call them right now, I think they're S10s, whatever. You know, if you use ASICs, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, the money's not gonna be as fluid as it was uh, prior to this uh, new uh, influx in buying potential. Uh, the scarcity cut uh, in the middle of all this uh, FOMO and uh, listen, guys, it, they're not going to be making as much money as they used to. Now, you have BRC20, uh, you have inscription activity. Now, you have the Ruins Protocol that's going to be coming online. It's going to expedite a lot of that. It's kind of kind of move that to the side, kind of take care of that, so it doesn't put that much strain on Bitcoin uh, going forward. We'll see how that goes. But it looks good, by the way. But I got to tell you, uh, a lot of the miners are going to be selling out. They're going to be selling their reserves to pay the bills because the hash rate is going to go up. That's going to increase the difficulty ranges uh, per block. Those guys probably don't have enough money to upscale. So they're going to like run through their Bitcoin reserves just to pay the bills. And then once that well is dry, they're going to sell out. So you're going to see a humongous factor when it comes to the miners depleting their reserves. That is going to be bought up in the free market as well. So you're getting a cut, guys, big time cut within a commodity and i'm talking about bitcoin very rare too as well when it comes to gold going into this uh post having season right uh there's going to be supply shock unprecedented supply shock and uh this report is saying that a lot of exchanges are going to run out of bitcoin that is substantial what do you think about this do you think we got a problem do you think that if we do run out of bitcoin do you think that's going to send a price to the roof well if you're into basic supply and demand factors you're damn right 
this price is gonna go to the roof. I think 100K is like very, very, very conservative. I think we're talking 150, maybe even 200K. I think Kathy Woods is talking about 250K around the third quarter of next year. I can see that. I mean, these reports are crazy. And I, these, these numbers, these metrics, they work. Because if you do the basic supply and demand math, all right, you factor in these scarcity cuts, you factor in the actual ETF action, not only in America, but across the board, we got the Hong Kong situation. That's actually a factor now. So, and that's $25 billion worth of info. Just wait. That hasn't even happened yet. So, uh, you damn right. We're going to have some supply shock when it comes to Bitcoin. Uh, there's going to be a scarcity factor that we all know we love Bitcoin having. And a lot of FOMO, big time FOMO, when that hits, you're going to see Bitcoin fly out of these exchanges to the tune that we've never seen before. Well over 7.1K worth of outflow when it comes to BTC out of these exchanges. They don't have a lot left, guys. I know Coinbase's coffers are getting kind of dry. So what do you think? You think this is a factor? Let me know what you think about this and uh, we'll see you on the next video.